Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid. You know the score by now. It's the second semi-final between Chris Hamill and Sonny Snelling. They'll each be given eight questions, three lifelines, and it's a winner takes all to see who competes against Michael McCubbin in the final next week. Stakes couldn't really be any higher. Chris, how are you feeling this morning? Wow, did not know this was a semi. It's given me one, actually, <laughs> just knowing that. Um, yeah, I was about to go for a jog five, ten minutes ago, and then you sent a very well-timed reminder that... Uh, that we were on this at half past nine. I liked it as well. It was like, oh, looking forward to half past nine. I'll see you at half past nine. It was clearly like, make sure you're here for half past nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good start to the day then. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm sat in my jogging gear, but away we go. Good, good, good. Well, I like it. Feeling fit and ready and firing and ready to go. Sunny. Spurs tend to bustle it in the latter stages. Do you think the same thing will happen to you today? Oh, yeah, I think our I think our semi final um, what's it is like we've lost seven of our last eight. So you know <laughs> the fact that I've got here is just impressive enough. So classic we'll Spurs see. attitude that. I mean, yeah, you know, to dare us to do, we'll see what happens. We'll just bumble <laughs> our way to a final like we did in the Champions League. So, I like you know. it. I like it. Well, Snelling, seeing as I think you're maybe the slight underdog here, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not. I'm going to give you the pen lid choice. Is it in my right or left hand? Uh, right is always right. It is in my right hand. Would you like to yeah. go first or second? I'll go first. Okay, here we go. Sonny, kicking off the show, your question comes in from Harry Fake. Which of these players has never played for Arsenal? Sol Campbell, Andriy Shevchenko, Cesc Fabregas or Tony Adams? I'll go with B, Andrei Shevchenko, please. Locking that in? Yes, please. Correct, well done. Going up to League Two. Wasn't going to get that wrong about your rivals. Yes. Chris, your question comes in from Dan Pilkington. Mm. Which of these goalkeepers was well known for wearing protective headgear? A. Petr Cech, B. Allison, B. Scott Carson, or D. Paul Robinson? That was um, Petr Cech, my friend. Correct. Well done. You two are joining Sonny in League Two. Right. Sonny, your question also comes in from Dan Pilkington. He's on to a roll, Dan. Which of these players was known as the baby-faced assassin? Diego Costa, Lee Grant, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, or Victor Anichibi? I'll go with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Correct, Please. well done. Moving Lovely. up you to You have League to go one. Anichibi if Anichibi's an option. <laughs> like I, 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 I uh, is, is that the new rule? <laughs> yeah, I would have respected you had you gone Anichibi just to follow the Star Wars code, but you didn't. Count. Yeah, I, part of me wanted to, but you know, I've got to try and win this, haven't I? Fair. Chris, your question comes in from Foot uh, Footy? Footy underscore maniac underscore. Who is the current president of Real Madrid? Zinedine Zidane, Juan Laporta, Jose Bartomeo, or Florentino Perez? Florentino Perez. Correct. Moving up to League One. Well done, lads. Solid start. Snells, your question comes in from Stephen Morton. Which team plays their football at the Reebok Stadium? A. Millwall, B. Sheffield Wednesday, B. C. Bolton Wanderers, sorry, or D. Ipswich Town? I'm pretty sure it's Bolton. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bolton. Use your lifeline, mate. League era. Better to be safe nah, than I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bolton. <laughs> I'm, I'm confident with Bolton. Correct. Well done. You're going. No, no one's, no one's ever said they're confident with Bolton, so you know. Chris, your question comes in from Callum Turnbull. The owner of which football club famously turned down Zinedine Zidane because they had Tim Sherwood? A. Ipswich Town, B. Blackburn Rovers, C. Aston Villa, or D. Portsmouth. What's that? Jack Warner at Blackburn Rovers. You locking that in? Yeah, go on. Correct. Well done. You two are going up into the championship. Well, yeah, one of those infamous mistakes. People forget though. Tim Sherwood was he was a good player. I mean, he's punditry. Like pe people like just focus on that now. But he was he was a good player. Sunny, your question comes in from you, Mayor. Which nation did George Weah represent? Oh. A. Ghana, B. Liberia, C. Cameroon, or D. The USA? Now, when it when it uh, when that was asked, I was a bit unsure. But using some FIFA knowledge and knowing he's the president, I believe I'll go with Liberia. Correct, Sunny. Well done. You're going up to the Premier League. Love it. Right, Chris. Your question comes in from Jamie Cameron. Which team holds the record for the least amount of goals or fewest amount of goals conceded in a Premier League season? A. Man United, B. Chelsea, C. Arsenal or D. Man City? Uh, I think it's Jose Mourinho's Chelsea with 15, right? You locking that in? Yeah. You are correct. Well done. Yeah. You're moving up to the Premier League. Very good. Right, lads. You're halfway through. Neither of you have used a lifeline. Very high quality so far. Sonny, 
Let's see if that continues. Your question comes in from JT Battersoni uh, 17. How many teams play in the Eredivisie? 16, 18, 20, or 22? There's 12 in Scotland, if that helps, Snellen. I'll use a clue, because I'm just, I'm just curious what a clue would be on this. Will it be okay. it is <laughs> between these two numbers? <laughs> it isn't even It's always number. difficult doing clues for numbers. But for this one, I've gone with, it's the same as the Bundesliga. Good clue. Oh, really I good feel clue. Like that's, I feel like that's 18. I'm pretty sure, and I'm using some of my Sky Sports news knowledge here, because I watch it too much. <laughs> um, when they were talking about Project Restart, or no, no, Project Big Picture, they were saying about maybe decreasing it to 18 teams in the Premier League. Like the Bundesliga. So I'm going to go with 18. Sonny, you locking that in? Sonny. Yes, please. Sonny, you were in the Premier League. You used your clue. You've narrowed it down. You've gone with 18. And you're going up to the Europa League. Yes. Well done, Snell. Just, need <laughs> Just needed a push in that direction. That's all I needed. Chris, your question comes in from of Adventures of CNM. Yes. Who among these managers has not played any level of football? Any level of football? Jose Mourinho, Jurgen Klopp, Andre Villas-Boas, or Roy Hodgson? Well, Jurgen Klopp definitely did. Uh, Jose Mourinho might have played very low down in the Portuguese pyramid. <laughs> Roy Hodgson. Oh, I'll go 50-50. Okay. Your 50-50 is Andre Villas-Boas or Roy Hodgson. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to go and Andre the Aspoash, you know, because I think, yeah, I think Roy might have kicked it about uh, okay. in, a, in a second or Li third tier somewhere. Literally, literally Chris, kicked it about. you were in the Premier League. You used your 50-50. After much deliberation, you've gone with AVB. And you were right. You're moving up yeah. to the Europa League. You're joining Sonny. Great I remember question. reading a thing. He got like an eye injury or something, really young, and then he just ended up. You know when he, uh, was it sent letters to the Porto manager, basically showing his tactics. Oh, this was yes. Boas. Great knowledge yeah. from you, Sun Dog. Right, guys, you've got three questions left. You're both in the Europa League, and you've got two lifelines. Sunny's got fifty-fifty and super sub. Chris has got clue and super sub. Sunny, your question comes in from Kiko Faria, two thousand and one. Which was the first team that Jose Mourinho managed? A. Setubal, B. Benfica, C. Chelsea, or D. Porto? Oh, that's, I think that's Benfica. I'm pretty sure I've hovered over his Wikipedia page and seen Benfica, so I'm not going to use a laugh line. I'm going to go Benfica. Straight Sonny, away. Straight you were pretty sure on that. You've gone with B. Benfica, and you were right to be sure. Well yes. done. You're moving oh. up to the Champions League. I was League. nervous it was going to be that first one. I never heard of him. That's a great <laughs> answer. Yeah, he lasted not very long in charge of Benfica. Top work. Yeah. Right, Chris, pressure on now. Your question comes in from Shea Daria0920. Which, which of these sides has not won the Bundesliga this century? Oh, A, Werder Bremen, B, Stuttgart, C, Bayer Leverkusen, or D, Wolfsburg? I've just had to write down the names on my notepad because I'm struggling. Bayer <laughs> Be Leverkusen. Right. Man vibes this. <laughs> Bayer Leverkusen. Um, Bayer Neverkusen. Am I right? Ha, 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 ha. It might be them because they have come infamously close and bottled it haven't they a lot of, a lot of times Werder Bremen I think I remember them winning it in some sort of orange and green and white kit Wolfsburg yes they have because was it Edin Dzeko Graphite and Co okay I think it's Bayer Leverkusen but I'm unsure Werder Bremen still still rubbing me up the wrong way um so I'm gonna go for a clue okay your clue is they finished fifth in 2019-20. Well, it wasn't Werder Bremen then, was it? <laughs> um, fifth. I think that sounds like Neverkusen. 1920. Okay, so it was Bayern Munich, Leipzig. Oh, was Does that it? mean the that means the year 1920? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people point that out on videos. Like, oh, yeah. did he say 1920? You know what I meant. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Uh, Dortmund and uh, Gladbach, right? So I'm going to go Leverkusen, yeah. Chris, you were in the Europa League. You used your clue. You've gone with by Leverkusen. And you were right. Well done. Yeah. Very good. That was very good. Very good. Oh, guys, this is really high standard. Okay, we're in the Champions League now. You're both still alive to complete the show. Sonny, your question right. comes in from T underscore La underscore Leach. 
Which cool. team has been relegated from the Premier League the most times? A. Crystal Palace. Oh, B. West Brom. C. Norwich. Or D. Birmingham City. Now then. And you got 50-50 or super sub. Now then, I believe I had a I had a feeling when you were about to read the teams out, Norwich was in my mind, Ooh. and you read out, and you did read out Norwich because I feel like they've been promoted the most as well. So, you know, they're they're defined as the yo-yo club. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a fifty-fifty, please. Okay, your fifty-fifty was West Brom or Norwich. I've got to go with the Canaries. Let's go, lock that in. Lock Norwich, it in. Please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's being so decisive today, Sonny. You've gone with C Norwich in the Champions League. Oh. You're two questions away from completing the show. And now you're just one away from completing the yes. show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, <laughs> that is a great answer. They're really fallen into my, they've really fallen into my lap, I'll be honest, so far. <laughs> okay. Modest. Chris, quiz, your mate. question comes yeah. in from Dom B. Cole. How many current Premier League managers have won the Premier League as a manager or as a player? Oh, these ones are hard. Six, seven, nine, or ten? How many? What the? F All right, and it has to be listed on their Wikipedia. Need a good 50, <laughs> need a good fifteen minutes to work this out. Um, um, okay. Was this before Lampard was sacked? This question. Uh, that's a very good point. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw me under the bus. I, I, I see you. Frank, Ollie, Pep, Jose, Everton, Carlo Ancelotti. Yes. Carlo Ancelotti, Newcastle, Steve Bruce must have won it as a player. Oh, but the Premier League, 92. Was it the Premier League when he was playing? I'm going to stick Bruce down. Bruce! Scott Parker, did he win it while at Chelsea? That's annoying. That's a really difficult one. <laughs> Trying to think what it says on, like, the strap line when he's, he's been in the studio before. Is it, is it said, like, <laughs> you know, like Premier Very League good. winner Scott Parker or, like... No, like Alan Pardew's made one appearance in the Intertoto Cup or something like that. It just depends whether Scott Parker won it. I don't think he did. I could probably live with myself more rationalising that he hasn't than he has. Am I missing anyone really obvious? Oh, Doogie, I'm just going to go six, mate. Are you locking that in? I am, mate, yeah. Chris, you were in the Champions League. After much deliberation, you've gone with six. And I'm afraid you're not completing oh. the show today. Oh. The answer was seven. But not That's because of Scott Parker, because he didn't win it either. You forgot Klopp. Did I just dismiss Klopp? I was thinking of yeah. I was thinking of Klopp as a player. What a moron. Um, I'm yeah. going to forget Steve Bruce, to be fair. Weird one, though. But, Chris, I mean, good good working out. You no. nearly got there. I mean, it's, You could it's still end up in the same Pretty league. criminal. You... Pretty criminal to forget Klopp. But, um, I'm just glad it didn't come down to Scott Parker because weirdly it says he got a medal, but on his Wikipedia he didn't play enough games to get it. So what that's a why shambolic I question! <laughs> Six should technically be correct because Frank Lampard's no longer in the job. So oh. I know, but we did clarify that Frank Lampard kind of did a bit of a bit of football pyramid controversy, but Klopp, Klopp needed to be included. Right, let's see whether Sonny can complete the show. If he doesn't, you're going to end up in the Champions League, which is where Chris could end up if he gets his final question right. So, Sonny, your question comes in from Adrian underscore... Adrian, sorry, Adrian dot VD Boa. Who has been caught offside the most times in <sighs> Premier League history? Oh, my God. Jermaine Defoe, Darren Bent, Emmanuel Adebayor, or Theo Walcott? What a question. I have no idea. For some reason, I'm edging towards Adebayor, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. I think I need to ring someone. Who would you like me to call? I'm going to call... I'm going to call McCubbin. Okay. Please. Your potential opponent in the final. Oh, don't. See whether he's willing to help you. that out, curse of the commentator now. <laughs> this is the Vodafone voicemail, oh. sir. Nightmare. <laughs> uh, Anyone else, Sonny? I'll go with Joe Tomlinson. Hello? Joe? <laughs> You've been done. This is his voicemail, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Happens every time. I no. knew it as well. I could tell the tone. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Right, okay. Final person you want to call? Or not final person. We can keep keep on going. <laughs> keep going. Uh, we'll go with George Wright. He normally gets annoyed, doesn't he? <laughs> Welcome to the EE voice. Oh, this wow. is ridiculous. Any danger? Uh, who else? That didn't who even ring. Who else we got? You Zach? know what? 
Henry Hill. Henry Hill, okay. Yeah, Zach's nowhere near the top of this list. <laughs> This is the Vodafone oh, Unbelievable. Everyone's out for a jog, mate. No one wants oh. to speak to me. Now you've got to send four messages saying, don't worry, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to have to call... We're going to have to call Zach. Yeah, go on, then. Zach, you're live on the football pyramid. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Right, Sonny is about to complete the show if he gets this right. Can I just come upstairs? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on, then. <laughs> right. Who has been caught offside the most times in Premier League history? Yeah. Jermaine Defoe. Oh. Darren Bent. Darren Bent. Emmanuel Adebayor. Adebayor. Or Theo Walcott. Or Theo Walcott. Now, where's your gut gone? Because I know where mine's gone. <laughs> I could purposely get this wrong with you. Hey, would you? Yeah, just say that, wouldn't Oh. I mean, Theo's the obvious one. Oh, see, Adebayo's my obvious one. Oh, really? Well, I was just thinking, Theo... Winger. Is it longest the in the Premier League? No, it's just who who has got the most offsides in Premier League history ever? Yeah, Theo's been in the Premier so long. He's also yeah, he's a quick quick player. I might put my faith in you. you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Zach and say Theo Walcott. Sonny. Pretty guess from me as well, to be honest. You needed this to complete the show. Be the first person in the Football Pyramid Finals to complete the show. You've gone with D-O th- D Theo Walcott <laughs> rather than C Emmanuel Adebayor. Your initial thoughts. Theo. You've locked in Theo Walcott. And you should have backed yourself. It was Emmanuel Adebayor. Get out. Get out of your own room. <laughs> that is absolutely brutal Harrowing. if one of those other people had picked up who knows what would have happened you listen to Zach Jalab oh see so yeah he's, he's jinxed me yeah? Agent Jalab return to base <laughs> uh, <absolutely. laughs> I'm in his room <laughs> Chris oh. yes your question comes in from Denzel Ponisami who yep. is Man United's top goal scorer in the Champions League A. Wayne Rooney B. Ryan Giggs C. Paul Scholes or D. Ruud van Nistelrooy uh, can you try Tomlinson again? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, if he picks up, I'll be fuming. Thanks. You okay, mate? Hey, Joe, you are live on the football pyramid. Oh, nice. You were initially called to help out Snelling. Now you're being called to help out Mr. Chris Hamill. He needs this. Oh, good. Let's Snell over. He needs this to <laughs> level with Snells. Right. You, the question is, who is Man United's top goal scorer in the Champions League? Oh Rooney, Giggs, Skulls, or Van Nistelrooy? Doogie, tell, tell him I think it's Van Nistelrooy. No, he thinks, no, it's, he thinks it's Van Nistelrooy. Oh, God. Ask him why he thinks it's Van Nistelrooy. Why do you think it's Van Nistelrooy? I remember him definitely having that. It's definitely not Skulls. I remember ha- What did you say, Chris? I remember him having that unreal campaign. Do you remember where he got like 13, 14 maybe in one campaign? He, he remembers where he got 13 or 14 in one campaign. He did, yeah. Um, definitely not skulls. I would say definitely not geeks. Between Rooney and uh, um, RVM. Um, I'll, yeah, my instinct would be to go Van Nistelrooy. I have to say, I'd probably be like 75, 80% confident. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, Chris, I'm going to go Van Nistelrooy. You locking that in? Yeah, because that was kind of my gut as well. Chris, you were in the Europa League. You needed to get this right to take it to a fastest finger first for a place in the finals. Yeah. You've gone with Van Nistelrooy. And you are right. Well done. Oh. Cheers, Joe. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Cheers, man. He's a knob. He's a knob. <laughs> wow. Drama. Okay. Place in the final. Sonny had it in his grasp, but he didn't back himself Probably with Spurs that. It is, now it? it's gone down to the fastest finger first in a Champions League question. Wow. So I'm gonna hit, I need to hear each of your each of your noises. You so you have to make a noise so I know who to go to. I'm going to say hat. Hat? What are you going to say, Snelling? Uh, plum. Nice. Okay. Okay, the question comes in from Daniac Lee. And remember, I need to hear your noise before you answer. Yeah. Who is the youngest ever winner of the Ballon d'Or? A, Ronaldo Nazario. B, Lionel Messi. C, Michael Owen. Or D, George Best. Plum. What's your answer? Is it Michael Owen? Incorrect. Ah. Oh. Chris, you've got an open goal. I'm going to I'm going to go Messi. Incorrect as well. 
Oh. So what do we have? It was now? Ronaldo Nazario. Right, oh. we're going to do another was question. Was he 19? He was 20. 20. Right, we'll go again. The question is from Rory Curry. Who was Brendan Rodgers' first signing as Liverpool manager? Remember, I need to hear your noise. A, Fabio Barini. B, Joe Allen. C, Philip Coutinho. Or D, Iago Aspas. Blum. Sonny. Joe Allen. Incorrect. Chris, oh. you've once again got an open goal. Hmm. I feel like it's he's re-signed Barini several times and that's been like a recurring a recurring theme. Absolutely no shame in getting that wrong, Sonny. This is this is a ridiculous question. Uh, I'm gonna go Barini, mate. Chris, you have won the show and you are through to the final against Michael oh. McCubbin. What a that. contest. Very, very close. I mean, that was a that was an awesome contest. Probably my favourite episode so far. Chris, how are you feeling? Oh, lovely. Uh, my head is extremely itchy, as you'll see in the edit. I've been taking my hat off every 35 seconds. But apart from that, <laughs> absolute joy, mate. Uh, Sonny, very, very good uh, competitor today, mate. Enjoyed that. Abs I mean, absolutely. Sonny, you nearly completed the show. You nearly had uh, it there, but you went with Theo Walker. I mean, how do you reflect on today? Um, I'll be honest. I'm going to go and abuse Zach. <laughs> and really get in his head and, you know, hope that Tuchel fails. Um, I can only, I can only, but I can only blame myself. I mean, I think I rushed those uh, questions there towards the end. And then the oh. last one, I should have just, should have just gone with my gut. Should have just gone with my gut. I can hear the, the, the anguish in your voice, but you're a great oh. competitor and you'll be back for season two, I'm sure, whenever that may be. Chris progresses through to the final to take on Michael McCubbin. If you've enjoyed this, go check out all the other football pyramids. If you want to get your question featured, remember to DM me on Twitter and Instagram. Go check out yesterday's Continental Club and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.